you to salivate metal here with an unbagging from Walmart, of all places. Let's take a look at what we have in here. Oh, oops, well, uh, pay no mind to that. Pay no mind to this. But let's take a look at this. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, here we've got a two-liter bottle of Royal Crown Cola. Very nice. You can see it's in mint condition here. A very nice luster. Beautiful piece, for sure. Wonderfully struck, this piece. Established 1905 Royal Crown Cola. So you might be asking yourself, well, why does he have this bottle of cola here as an unboxing? Well, as a title, you shouldn't ask yourself that question. You should ask me that question. Well, I'm going to answer for you. This is going to be a experiment. Sometimes I like to do experiments. And this is where these two 1955 brilliant uncirculated silver dimes come in. Pull these out for you and show you. These are brilliant uncirculated dated 1955 silver dimes. And you can see very clearly here, each of them are brilliant, shiny, fresh as from the mint. And I'm going to do an experiment and see what they will do or what one of them will do because I'm going to leave one out for comparison. When they're dropped inside of this RC Cola two liter bottle. And the reason why I chose the RC Cola is because of the nutritional facts on the reverse of the piece. And if you look here closely, it has 42 grams of sugar. And upon inspection and research, RC Cola is the most acidic of the sodas. And I wanted to see how long a silver dime would last inside of a bottle of RC Cola. And uh, the reason why I chose such a large bottle is because it was actually cheaper to buy this than it was to buy a 20 ounce bottle of soda. And I couldn't find an RC Cola 12 ounce or 12 ounce can or any other kind of um, version of this. So I'm getting the two liter bottle and I will put the dime in and we'll see how it plays out let's see here can see there's already a reaction when you put the coin inside of the bottle. So what we will do, leave it in there and forget about it for a while and come back and see what the results are. And you might be asking yourself, well, why didn't he put a quarter in there? Well, first of all, ask me. I'm standing right here. And the reason is, is because, looky, the quarter will not fit. We'll try it, but I don't think it's going to squeeze inside of there. It's a, just slightly larger in diameter. And so it will not fit down into the bottle itself. So I'm sorry, we can't do a quarter in the experiment. But it was fun trying. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this little experiment. We will see what happens and we will reveal and see how the dime has turned out in a future video. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.